What's going on YouTube? This is Cyclone LPs and I'm back for another episode of Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. Last time we created our character, a male scoundrel focusing in melee, narrowly escaped the Endar Spire and had a rough crash landing on Terrace. This time we're going to head out into the unknown, so let's jump right in to episode two. Alright, let's do it. So it's me and Karth in the party. See what happens. Right, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we Good answer. <laughs> now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Well, it didn't take too long to get into trouble, did it? I'm gonna take out the droids first. And now the scooter. That was easy. Just glad I could help. Jawana Bota, are you at the Hunga Chakanki Dora? Kachi Kuita Hodonga. Topa da Bungwalia got Uba Batu Kochi. Tong Nong Bong Shang Yunga. What a nice guy. Helps me kill the people who killed his friend and then hides the bodies. <laughs> okay, so he had a couple grenades, blaster rifle. Basically not going to use any of that stuff. I mean, I'll probably use the grenades, but... Let's see, what does Karth have? Let's check Karth's uh, stuff over here. It's dual-wielding blasters. Okay, that's fine. Don't really have much of a choice with our gear just yet, but let's continue. Oh yeah, I have a level 2. Didn't notice that. Just skills this time, so. Yep. Sneak attack 2, okay. I have to use my stealth more often after that. I'm gonna switch to Karth and Ready. security this door, because I think he has, yeah, I knew he had security. It's open. Alright. Yes. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Well, I just did. Uh, just investigating. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Okay, this is where persuade skill comes in. Luckily, I have persuade skill. So let's persuade her that she can trust us. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Damn, hut slug. Watch with the insults, lady. It's hardcore. Is there anything I can do to help? Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. I'll speak to him. Could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. So we break into this lady's uh, apartment and we turn out to, I don't know, kind of be friends. It's a little weird. I, I don't think that that would happen in the real world. And I'm still going to steal your stuff. Sorry about that. Spike parts, 18 credits. Anything helps. Here's a merchant. Uh, by the way, the alien voices in this game, I am not going to read them aloud because I don't think people want to hear me do that. Uh, I'll simply 
I'll read the important ones in my head and allow you enough time to read it. So, yeah, I'm not going to voice over everything. Alright, he's talking about energy shields. This isn't very important dialogue, I just want to see what he has for sale. I don't really think I'm in the business of buying armor at this point, because this armor is gonna... I'm gonna find, like, all this shit later. So I'll probably just pass this up unless there's something. Stealth plus two. Again, I don't think it's worth the 220. Yeah, we'll just pass it up for now. Yeah, we'll pass it up. Maybe if we fall into some money, we can come back. But there's better merchants in the in even the upper city in Terra, so we'll see what happens. On it. It's open. Sure. Break into another apartment. Parts, spike credits, pretty standard. Okay, that goes to the upper city. We're not gonna go there yet. We're gonna finish uh, going in these rooms first. I should just stay as Karth. I'm the security every door anyway. Bro, move. Oh my god. On it. It's open. <laughs> okay. What? I'll take your stuff, bro. Parts med pack credits. And what do you got to say? By the way, I know what you're thinking right now. Would, would a Jedi, a Jedi to be a lightsaber character, break into apartments and steal everything? Probably not. But uh, we need shit. We don't have anything. We just crash landed. Give us a break. Same story. Just sort of chump change for us here. We'll we'll find better stuff. Just trying to get through all these rooms. Okay, there's our there's our apartment, so we'll skip over that. And let's go to the upper city. Okay, I forgot to start my timer here, so I'm just gonna check. I'm gonna go ahead and save it so I can see. Uh, okay, I've been playing for eight minutes. I'll just kind of keep tabs on it. I plan to run this episode between 40 and 50 minutes. Anything longer than that, and it gets a little ridiculous, but I don't want to have to upload 100 episodes either. So, find a nice balance. Yes, what's in your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I fought the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals could unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I... I didn't. People in your home world? Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. A lot of people don't like Karth much. Uh, I don't really have a problem with them. I'm gonna ask him about uh, the the city. Paris? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past, and things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. 
And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. You got it. Interesting. It's another merchant. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You look at She has a really weird name. I can't get over her name. Kebla Yurt. Well, mostly. Mostly. What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Show it. Just so you know, the prices on the items are. Alright. You know, she's got some pretty expensive stuff here. I mean, that armor. It's expensive. It's not really worth the pr worth the price though, because you can find that armor later in the game just randomly. It's a double bladed melee weapon for 280. It's a sniper rifle. If I'm not mistaken, you can get one of these later in the game for free. But I don't know if you always get it or if it's just I don't know. Now this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. There's a side quest that you use that with later. Uh, however, I'm not. I don't remember if it's light side or dark side, so I might not end up doing it. But just so I don't have to make another trip up here. Uh, this is the cantina, so we're gonna step in. Might as well. Okay. That's the Pizak guy. I guess we'll talk to him. How do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> You don't even have your own deck? If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the- Okay. We gotta get a deck. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free left. Okay, give me- give me your cards. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Uh Okay. Of course, of course. No sense. So I'm not going to do the lesson, but I am going to play a game of Pazak. Pazak is a card game. You're getting a Pazak lesson from that old fossil Garou. Uh learning the rules of that a lot of people gamble on. With a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play a hand? So we'll play one. Alright, max. It's only 40. Don't really have a choice much with what uh, we can play here. Basically, the point is to get to the closest to 21 that you can without busting. I'm sorry, 20, not 21. And he beat me. And if you lose three, then you lose the match. The problem is, in the first game, you have a disadvantage every time. And you'll see what I mean by that. Oh, got lucky. Because you have to go first um, in KOTOR 1. In KOTOR 2, I believe it alternates, so no one really has an advantage. I'm gonna hit here, even though it's probably risky. Yep. Alright, not, not a good start. Don't give me 9 or 10. Alright, we'll take a 19. Bust. God. That's how this shit goes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Fuck. Okay, well, that was bad. Is not for everyone. It requires... 
if you ever wish to. Alright, well, just some advice. If you ever want to grind money in this game, save your game, play a Pazak match. If you win, save your game again and play another. If you lose, just load your save. If you could even call it that. You aren't much of a Alright, whatever. Let's talk to some other people. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. We can make this job pretty good. You're doing your job right. I don't hold that against you. Save the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not buying it. Bitch. I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this conversation never happened. Now move along. Alright, uh, I actually took a little bit of a break to record this. I took, uh, two days. Not really two days, but. Alright, the point is, I'm a little bit drunk. And the screen spinning is no coincidence. Like, I honestly didn't even mean to make the screen spin. Let's stop that for a second. I could I talked to this bitch and she didn't really give me a whole lot of uh anything that I was looking for, so I'm just gonna move on. I'm a little bit drunk right now, in case I didn't mention it. No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the They misspelled enough. They misspelled enough. You understand what I'm talking about. I guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. What a sick fuck. Okay, I'm not even gonna talk to well, the band's pretty good, but I'm getting a little sick of them. If it wasn't for the Sith warranty, <laughs> Okay, anyone that knows the first Star Wars movie understands that reference. Look at them. They're dressed like little dirty space wenches. I find a little bit of <laughs> space wrench. I find some some stuff attractive about it, but being honestly, let's be honest. I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next. Bro, I understand about the drink. You don't look like one of the Sith, bro. Uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging out around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know? A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. So why do you do it? When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give up this lousy job. Retire my uniform, so to speak. Senior officers don't really like it when you start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm liable to say something that might get me in trouble. Bro, you can't worry about that, like... You just gotta go with the flow, bro. Let's see, I'm trying to find someone who's worth talking to that's not a generic, like, terrorist citizen here. I'm sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've gotta get these drink orders to the customers. Alright, well, you got the drinks. I mean, that's an important job, trust me. This Theresian Ale is fantastic. Theresian Ale, actually, I'd like to where try some of that. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? All right, bitch. Not your waiter, bitch. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy. I like how I have two fucking swords in my hand, and she thinks I'm the waiter. What kind of waiter have you ever seen that has two swords? I'll get that drink for you, stupid bitch. Better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. Don't bother me. I don't speak to the help. You stupid whore. Get the fuck out of here. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. 
Listen, if I step into a cantina, I have to be drunk. I feel like that should be a fucking... I feel like that should be a priority for this Let's Play. Every time I step into a cantina, I have to drink. Because that's what you do in a cantina. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. <laughs> Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna so I'm just gonna talk over this idiot. All right, I won't talk over it. You can watch. He's old. He's really old. He shot one time. The winner, the guy that wasn't old, and the guy who actually pulled the trigger before, like, he was pulled the trigger on. I, I'm a little bit drunk. I'm not going to talk anymore. Okay, the point is, let me go ahead and save this game before I get into this shit. The point is, you can actually duel other people, and here's the guy who just lost, and there's the guy who just won. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step You have a room? very polygonal ear. Why are you here if you don't even know what I don't have time to answer your question? Alright, I understand what the do Alright, the Dolly Ring is what you just saw. That's where you can battle other people. This is a really Adjure the Hut, I guess. Talk Windows closed, no more fights for now. People are sick of seeing the duelists all the time. It's bad for business. My name is Adjure, I draw organized the duelists here. We need a new face in the duel game. We step in the duel ring. Okay, the only reason I'm going to do the duels is because I actually have high strength and I can do work with these melee weapons. So I'm going to rape them. And by rape, I mean beat them in the battle. <laughs> I'm not actually going to rape them. Who wouldn't want to see that? Uh, what's in it for me? 10% of all wagers. Alright, we'll take it. We're raised on six because the ring's pretty small. Alright. A few doors. That's fine because and blasters and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? You said it, Karth. The ring has an energy suppressor field. Nobody dies. Weapons are limited so they don't hurt. Don't kill. Uh question about all that. How the hell can you get stabbed by a sword and not die because there's energy suppressors? Oh, well, I'll do it, but I want more than 10%. You slug. In case you watched Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, uh, Luke Skywalker actually tried to force persuade Jabba the Hutt, and it didn't work. So, apparently, there's, uh, whatever species Jabba the Hutt is. In fact, I'm, I'm losing some of my nerd status for not knowing that, but they do not respond to force uh, to the force powers that influence their thoughts first persuade sorry a lot of drunk I don't need a nickname I'll further you here people won't recognize you I know from now on the door you'll be a mysterious stranger I'll take it Got no past, no history. It makes you seem like some big, dark, secret people like that it makes them bet more. The best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back in the Endor Spire. Alright, so we're gonna make some money. Let's roll. I'm ready. I'm drunk, but I'm ready. 
I'm gonna fight Dead Eye Duncan, the guy that just lost in that last fight. Ladies and gentlemen, wide screen bitches. I'm thinking now what this is all about. He's anything but fresh meat. I'm. I know you said that I was the fresh meat. The mysterious stranger. All right, there he is, the little son of a bitch. I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm not gonna use the grenades. I'm just gonna fucking wreck him with vertical strikes. He has a sword. I have two swords. I feel like we have the advantage here. Oh! One hit, bitch. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! You damn straight I won. <laughs> Alright, give me 10% of that shit. How many people bet? 55 experience, I'll take it. There you slug. I'll just pay my debts, you won, you get paid 10%. That's the deal, here's your credits. Come see me when you're ready for fight again. 100 credits, I'll take it. Fought well this time, Alright, actually, I'm not gonna fight yet. I gotta make sure I'm fully, okay. As you can see in the bottom left, he barely even touched me for any damage, if at all. So I'm gonna roll back into it. Let's roll for another turn. We're gonna fight Girl on Two Fingers. Just remember, Girl on uses bas blasters in the ring. Alright, so if I get close to him, we're good. He can't do shit if I'm close to him. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Basically, the only reason to do this is to get money. And because it's interesting. I give you Gerlon Twofinger. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious stranger. Alright, you stupid son of a bitch, let's roll. Just spam critical strikes and uh, take him out. Oh, he pulled up two hits. This is gonna be really it's easy to get through this. Payment 80 experience. See, the fact that we put a lot of skill points into like combat feats is a good thing. And by combat feats, I mean like strength, constitution. Shit, 200. Let's see, how's our health? Uh, let's look down the bottom right. Well, he's a med pack. Just get back to full health. And before I start, I'm gonna actually save because if I lose a fight, I know I'm a pussy, but I don't want to, like, actually lose a fight. I just want to, like, bail on losing a fight. The ring is in your blood now. It's a virus. You need to hear the cheers of that crowd. You need the rush of battle. You need to fight again. I'm set in the ring now. Are you ready to prove yourself as the best old son, Terrace? I'm ready. I think you go against Ice Human. She's tough, but so are you. There'll be lots of action in this fight. A huge purse, you ready? Let's roll. Ladies and gentlemen, Very profitable. Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a it's a girl. In store for you. That doesn't mean anything. Nice water in her veins. She's quick and quick. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious. Oh, I'm pretty drunk. Alright. There's ice. 
same story. Ooh, that hurt. She did three. I missed. Oh, she got a short out. 17, damn. Gotta run. This girl is legit. Just saying. One more hit and we got her. One more hit. Oh my god. Okay guys, I'm gonna cut to another fight against that bitch because I ain't gonna play that shit. We're gonna beat her. That's the end of the story. I'll see you guys in just a second. I'm just gonna throw grenades because I don't give a shit. She's actually beat me twice now, so I'm trying for three times a charm. I guess so. We're gonna launch some grenades at her. Unless I ain't gonna hurt her because it's too far. I basically have to get lucky here. I'm gonna go ahead and try a different tactic. I'm gonna get rid of the other sword. So I'm just gonna go single sword because I think maybe the modifiers hurt me here. See if we can actually do it. Uh, so it's a little bit. Oh, goodness. 11. Come on, one more like that. One more like that. We got her. We got her. Alright, guys, that's probably gonna be the last fight that I'm gonna do for now. By the way, it took me four tries to take her down. I guarantee I'll be back to beat uh, the final fight. I think there's only one more? There might be two more. Either way, I'm going to go collect my payment. And the reason I took the weapon out of my uh, offhand is because there's a bit of a penalty. So you don't do as much damage if you have two weapons in your hand, but you do get two attacks. But it's easier to miss those attacks. So let's talk to him. Let's pay my debts. You won, so you get paid. 300. Okay. Uh, we're not going to step into the ring for now. Let's actually save the game. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's heal up. And we're going to go into the ring and try to beat the next opponent. If we can beat him, then we're going to quit. Ready for a duel. Let's do it. Who we have against? Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. As a legend in the sport, a 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Mo! But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got. I really need to win this battle. Shit. First try. Let's do this. Let's see if we have any other equipment that we can equip. I guess not. Just gotta fucking go balls deep on this one. Please, just hit attacks, please. God damn it. Yeah, I'm fucked. You fucking old ass son of a bitch. I swear to god I'll kill you. I'll hunt you down and I'll rip your head off and piss down your throat. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I did my best. That guy wrecked me. So I'm just going to kind of give up there. I mean, 
I'm not gonna be able to beat him now. Maybe if I level up a couple times, I'll be able to like stand a chance. Okay, uh, let's roll out and see what kind of trouble we can get into. By that, I mean let's check out the rest of the upper city because wait, let's actually go back in this room. Okay, that's that room. Sorry guys, a little tipsy here. Uh, by the way, this guy. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. Off with you then. Alright, I don't need to really talk to him because I already know who he is, but he is basically like the final dude in the battle ring. In the dueling ring. Like, he is the last guy that you can face. I think there's one, two, three. I think... I think I have to beat two more before I can actually face him. But we're just going to go outside here and uh, see if we can find some other people to get into conversation with. Now that we're out of the cantina, so let's look around here. Generally the people that are walking around aimlessly are not people that have anything to do with quests. And you can see those three people, three people over there in the corner. Obviously, something going on over here. So let's go check it out. Gavik says you missed your last payment. He doesn't like it, man. Here, I I've got fifty credits. A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we going to just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness. By the way, this is, uh, doesn't like witnesses. This is the kind of stuff that goes on in the upper city. Can you imagine the stuff that goes on down below? I mean, it's not a good place down there. You'll see in the next episode. Just saying. You'll have to deal with me. Not your business. Huh, we'll see. I'm gonna go for this dude first. Because he's closer to me. That's my only life set points gained. Sweet. Of course I'm missing. Karth is ripping this guy open. Alright, Karth gone. My life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My life warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Maybe I can help you. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, okay. there's nothing else you can do. Guys, I know it's more fun to, like, destroy this guy, but I'm trying for a light side run here, I'm trying to be nice. In the sequel of this game, I'm not going to be nice, but I'm going to give him 100 credits. Give me 100 credits? Just like that? I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. 100 credits isn't that much, by the way. Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Alright, more lights have points. Okay. So we got 50. 57. So we actually made a net profit of 7 credits, which is nothing, but let's just check our. Okay, I don't know if I was going to check here. One second, guys. Okay, probably about 10 more minutes in this episode, and then I'm going to call it quits. Roughly. Let's go ahead and talk to some of these guys in here. See what's going Can't on. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Okay. What's going on, bro? Appearance that you are an offworlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Horn refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terras. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. What is rat ghoul disease? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. 
It is spread by the Rack Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rack Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. There is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. Uh, maybe I could get a way to get my hands on serum. Anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide. Uh, a little bit of a spoiler alert here. The in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Okay, well the spoiler alert is that we are actually going to end up in the Sith base. It's going to take a while, probably a couple more episodes past this, but uh, it's going to happen. Please don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Alright, let's see what this dude's selling. Of course. Just step over. Alright. Had enough of your talk. Okay, here's some... These are called implants, basically. They're items that you put... Uh, let's see. I got, I got two of them here. I can't use either of them. Not that I would necessarily want to. This one requires implant level 3. Unfortunately, I only have implant level 1. So I cannot use that implant just yet, even though I do plan to upgrade to 3 before this LP is over. 2, of course, I can't use that either. I only have 1. That gives you immunity to mind-affecting force powers and then uh, poison. Really, that's all that he has other than just med packs and antidotes. I'm not going to waste my money on that. Now there's this door here. Okay, let's see if actually if Karth can uh, uh -huh. open it with his security skull. On it. You know if he can. It's open. Yes, indeed. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. The Republic soldiers. You recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless. You're a friend of the Republic. Okay, persuade skill again. You tell me what's going on. Expensive. I'm a friend of the Republic. You can trust me. I, uh, I guess I better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. At least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. So, uh, two points here. First of all, and both points tie into the same thing. There are surviving crew members off the ship that we were on, somehow. Uh, I'm assuming that they must have launched out on escape pods as well. But the interesting thing is, Karth did say on the ship that we were the last, that I was the last remaining crew member on the Indar Spire. Therefore, it was false information. Either he lied or he wasn't sure about it. I would assume that he wasn't sure about it. Because obviously these, these guys over here in the, in the tubes, in the cult of tanks, are alive. I guess we didn't know about them. I'll just leave it at that. There's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. More light side points. Now, let me. This is what I was going to do earlier. As you can see, like our aura here, near the bottom at least, is blue. Our, uh. Our level of light to dark is a little bit on the light side. It started about, I would say, right here. So we've raised up a little bit. Um. Going towards the light side. Once you get, by the way, once you get full light side, you get a little bit of a bonus depending on which class you are. And by class, I don't mean 
uh, character creation class, I mean Jedi class. We are not a Jedi yet, but we soon will be. And by soon, I mean maybe in a few episodes, three or four or five more episodes will be. So uh, I guess we've done enough here. Let's let's move on. We got a, about five more minutes that I'm gonna go short. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakul serum. I've got an offer for you. You might want to hear. Hmm. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Who's Davik Kang? Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. He's a crime lord? If I tell Zalko you're helping to... He'll use it to help people. Indeed. Helping people is all well and good. But you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. So obviously a moral dilemma comes up here. Do you give it to the guy who's actually going to use it to help people, Zalkaforn, or do you give it to Zex in the uh, Undercity Bounty Office, who's probably going to use it for other reasons from which we are unknown? And since he works in a bounty office, it's probably not going to be very legit. <sighs> okay. So, that being said, I mean, there's dead bodies right here, but, uh, yeah, we didn't have anything to do with that or anything. Like, it wasn't our fault. Okay, we've cleared the, uh, let's see. We've cleared the South Apartments, which is down that way. We cleared the cantina out. Did all that we could there. We cleared out the medical area over here. Next episode, we are going to enter the Upper City North Apartments. Raid what we can, see what we can get into over there, and try to make some more money. So this brings us to the conclusion of episode 2, and until next time, I am Cyclone LPs. See you guys later.